Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Aunt Mimi. Woohoo! It's Monday. And it was really nice outside, like all day, but now it's getting cloudy again. And it looks like it's gonna rain. But that's fine because rain is what makes Oregon green and keeps all the plants uh, growing and blooming and the flowers blooming and all that stuff. So, yay. Um, I wanted to tell you that this scratch right here is from Piper. Um, <clears throat> I was sleeping the other morning and she decided to run across our bed with her claws um, and I guess she decided to run across my face with her claws um, but thankfully it was just this scratch and not a bunch of other scratches um, but yeah it still obviously woke me up and it hurt in the morning and like when I woke up I touched it and I could feel that it was bleeding but I was also like so tired and just wanted to go back to sleep so I just went back to sleep <laughs> and then when I woke up there was like matted blood and stuff but it really wasn't that bad um and there's not like blood all over my pillow or anything so it wasn't that gross um but yeah you'll see this scratch it's gonna be on my face for a while and uh just know it's from Piper <laughs> the crazy little kitten that lives in our house. <laughs> we love her, but she's crazy. Um, today I'm going to read this book, Cars. Um, definitely not one of my favorite Disney movies, but I know a lot of you guys like this movie, and you will probably also enjoy the book, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> Lightning McQueen was a race car. He was flashy red and had a shiny lightning bolt on his side. Mm. He even had adoring fans, but he also had a big problem. His pit crews kept quitting. You see, McQueen thought he could do everything by himself. I know people like that. And since all McQueen cared about was winning races, he didn't have any friends except Mac. <clears throat> Mac the truck drove McQueen to all his races. One night, McQueen wanted to get, a, get to a really big race really fast. He made Mac drive too long and the loyal truck got tired. Mac swerved and McQueen fell out of the back of the truck. Uh-oh! McQueen had been sleeping, but he woke up fast. The race car was lost and scared. Soon he was racing toward an old forgotten town called Radiator Springs. The sheriff chased McQueen. McQueen was scared. Hmm. Okay. McQueen was scared, so he drove faster. He knocked into just about everything in the little town. What a mess! <clears throat> when the chase was over, McQueen had ruined the town's main street, and he was in a heap of trouble. In fact, the sheriff had him towed to jail for all the damage that he had done. <clears throat> Only one car in town was friendly to McQueen, a, rust a rusty tow truck named Matt Mater. Mater didn't know that McQueen was a famous car. He just wanted to make a new friend. Soon McQueen was brought to, co to court. He thought he would be sent free because he was a superstar race car. He was right, almost. Doc, the town's judge, told McQueen to leave town and never come back. He didn't like race cars. Then Sally, a blue sports car, arrived. She was a lawyer. McQueen thought Sally was pretty. <clears throat> but Sally just wanted McQueen to fix the mess he had made. 
The townsfolk agreed. They loved their town, so Sally and Doc made a deal. The queen could leave <clears throat> after he fixed the road, but McQueen was still in a rush to get his to his big race. So he worked too fast and made an even bigger mess of the messy road. A while later, the town watched as Mater tried to drive on the new road, but the new road was simply too bumpy. Doc was angry. <clears throat> he challenged McQueen to a race. If you win, you go and I fix the road, said Doc. If I win, you do the road my way. It certainly looked as if McQueen would win the race, but he didn't. He crashed into a cactus patch. <laughs> Luckily, his new friend Mater helped him out. <clears throat> After that, McQueen learned a few things. He learned that the townsfolk were proud of their home. He learned why Sally loved Radiator Springs. And he learned that Doc had once been a champion race car. Hi, Pancake. Finally, McQueen fixed the road. Then he thanked all his new friends by getting spiffed up, Radiator Springs style. Red, Red the fire truck squirrel squirted McQueen clean. Guido and Luigi gave him new tires. Ramon gave him a new paint job, and Flo gave him a can of her best oil. But that night, by that night, <clears throat> the townsfolk had fixed their shops and their neon lights. The old town looked new again. Soon it was time to go back to the racetrack. But now McQueen had Doc as his new chief, and he also had a new pit crew, and they weren't just his teammates. They were his new best friends. Oh, how sweet. Yay. That's a nice story. Look, Pancakey joined us. Hi, Pancake. Hi, Pancakey. Pancake. <laughs> She's so funny. Oh, this weather makes me so sleepy. Also, I've been doing grown-up work all day. So that makes me tired too. Especially when it's like a problem comes up and the problem was my fault. <laughs> kind of. I mean... Actually, I think it was my client's fault, but since I'm the one who pushed everything through with the wrong information, then it becomes my fault. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I think that we're going to be able to make it work out one way or another. Um, in plant news, look what happened over the weekend. Yay! This orchid is so huge. Um, look, it's got like five new buds, and then it's got another thing coming out right here. Like another branchy thingy. Probably just one of these, actually. One of these, these things. Um, yeah, I really like this one. It's very pretty. Of course, all of my orchids are pretty. I don't, I don't have favorites too much. You know, I like them all pretty equally. Um, I will say I'm really impressed with the big one though because it is probably the one that cost me the least amount of money, um, but it has given the most orchids and the biggest orchids. So, I don't know. But all of them are impressive. Like, I'm really happy that the purple one has so many blooms right now. And especially the yellow and pink one. Like, that one hasn't bloomed in, like, I don't know, three or four years or something. So, pretty cool. 
Uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. We didn't do too much, um, except I finished the bathroom completely. There's like a few tiny little touch-up spots I need to paint, but I can do it like literally any time and it, nobody, I'm the only one who notices because I'm like particular about that stuff. Um, in my bathroom cabinet actually came to my house today. So that's my project for tonight is to put my bathroom cabinet together and put it in the bathroom and my bathroom's going to be so much more organized now and I'm really excited about it. If you know me, <clears throat> you know how much I like to be organized <laughs> um, and how sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes there's there's definitely parts of my house that are not organized. Um, but the bathroom is not going to be one of those rooms. So yeah, that's exciting. I also got to video chat with my nieces yesterday for a really long time and that was really fun. Ellie is so funny. Um, she wanted me to give her a tour of my entire house. <laughs> Um, which cracks me up because they've been here like, I don't know, a bunch of times, so. But I think that they think that we moved since I'm painting the bathroom, but we didn't move. <laughs> Just finally fixing the bathroom. <laughs> this cracks me up. Kids are cute, the way they think about things and the conclusions that they come to when you tell them things. Um... But she still enjoyed, even though it's the same house, like, she still really enjoyed the tour, and, um, she especially liked outside, and then I showed them all the flowers in here, and all of them were like, wow, so pretty. Yeah, so, it was cute. It was really nice talking to them, um, through video chat yesterday. That's about it. Yeah. I hope you guys had a good weekend. And... I'm going to go back to finishing up some grown-up work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Goodbye.